Thank you and welcome to the show this morning. The topic today is a profile on Chandra Cheeseboro, the senior coach for the women's track team at Tennessee State University. <clears throat> and of course, uh, we have with us this morning uh, Ms. Chandra Cheeseboro herself. Of course, let me welcome you, uh, Ms. Cheeseboro, to uh, the program this morning and to uh, tell you how delighted we are to uh, be able to profile you uh, as our guest this morning. Uh, let's, uh, I think that uh, the entire community and entire, the entire world know who you are. But uh, before we get into uh, the program to talk about uh, you, your profile and to uh, deal with some of the Olympic exploits and some of those uh, uh, memorances uh, from you, uh, let's give you an opportunity to briefly give our audience some idea of who you are and how you became involved with Tennessee State University from that perspective, and then we'll get into uh, some of your coaches re coaching responsibilities now, and then later on, uh, your Olympic exploits. My name is Chandra Cheeseboro. I'm from Jacksonville, Florida. Mm -hmm. I came to Tennessee State in 1975 as a high schooler. Mm -hmm. I was in the um, Tiger Bell summer program where I met Coach Temple at the um, Junior Olympics in 1974. Mm -hmm. No, that was the second time I met Coach Temple. The first time, Coach Temple recruited my oldest sister mm -hmm. to come here to high jump, and she turned down the scholarship, and I told my mom that I was going to come to Tennessee State, mm -hmm. and I was going to run track, and it happened just like that in mm -hmm. 1974. Mm -hmm. And so you came, <coughs> came to Tennessee State University <coughs> in 1974 specifically on a track scholarship? No, it <coughs> wasn't a track scholarship. In 1975, I came at the summer program. Mm -hmm. Coach Temple had a summer program where high schoolers could come and run in the summer. Then they would go back and you know, compete for the high school mm -hmm. during the year. So I came on under the summer junior program. Mm -hmm. And <clears throat> so you were already uh, involved in, in a, perhaps a limited way in uh, the, a track program before you uh, met Coach Temple? Of course. I ran in high school. Mm -hmm. I, I competed from seventh grade through the twelfth grade mm -hmm. in, in the state of Florida. I was undefeated, you know, mm -hmm. running track. So I had a good career going on and came here to Tennessee State to finish that career out. Mm -hmm. And so... Uh, uh, Coach Temple recognized your record, and, but, but you mentioned your sister. Now, your sister evidently uh, was uh, more advanced in, in track than yourself uh, because she was given a scholar to talk about that. Well, my oldest sister was a senior mm -hmm. um, in 1970. I was just in the sixth grade then, mm -hmm. and she was a high jumper. She was the state champion in Florida, and Coach mm -hmm. Temple um, heard about her, and he wanted her to be a part of his program. She came up to the summer program. Mm -hmm. But she decided that it was a little too far for her, mm -hmm. so she returned home. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then he heard about her sister. Well, a couple of years later, mm -hmm. I came along, and um, mm -hmm. he saw me run at the Junior Olympics, and mm -hmm. he approached me and my mother and asked, could we come up to the summer mm -hmm. program? And that's where it took off from. Mm -hmm. Now, who, uh, who invited uh, you to uh, become a member of the Tiger Bell? Uh, was Coach Temple the uh, person in charge of the Tiger Bell at this time? Yes, he mm -hmm. was. Coach Temple approached us again, and mm -hmm. um, he remembered us from 1970 mm -hmm. because he had, his wife had some relatives in Jacksonville mm -hmm. also. And um, the opportunity was there, and I took the opportunity, mm -hmm. and I don't regret it at mm -hmm. all. Now, I know all of a sudden you just didn't come to Tennessee State University and then go to the Olympics and win uh, all those medals and et cetera. How did all of that develop? I mean, Well, uh, it almost worked like that. Uh, it, well, uh -huh. I was very talented as mm -hmm. a youngster in high school. And in 1976, where I made my first Olympic team, mm -hmm. I was with the Tennessee State Tiger Bells. Mm -hmm. um, I did not medal in 1976, mm -hmm. but I made it to the 100-meter finals mm -hmm. as a high schooler. So mm -hmm. it... I didn't win all my medals there, but I did make the Olympic mm -hmm. team as a uh, junior in high school. Now, what did it mean for you uh, to be a junior in high school to uh, 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 medal uh, and then uh, the uh, sort of worldwide fame that, you all, that, that almost accompanied that? Um, how did you react to all of that? Well, um, I was a, a kid that just kind of really didn't let success, you know, overtake mm -hmm. me. So I, I did the normal things as... Uh, high schoolers do. Mm -hmm. I was excited because I had an opportunity to travel somewhere I'd never been. Mm -hmm. We went to Montreal, Canada, where um, I competed in Canada, mm -hmm. and it was a, a great e experience mm -hmm. for me. 
And, and, and of course, all of this time, uh, as being a member of the Olympics, you were uh, 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 not, not a single runner, but you were a member of the uh, Tiger Bells, and there was uh, various components, and et cetera. Talk about uh, some of the uh, uh, pairing and that kind of information for our audience. Well, um, I need to go back a little because um, in, I met Coach Temple in 74. In 1975, he took me to the Pan American Games where he was the, uh, a Pan American coach. Mm -hmm. And I won a gold, two gold medals out of the Pan American game mm -hmm. with him being the coach. Mm -hmm. The first goal was in the 200 meters. Then the other goal came in the four by one relay. Mm -hmm. So that made me a part of the Tennessee State uh, summer program mm -hmm. from there. And then the following year we went on to the Olympics. But um, coming to Tennessee State was exciting for me. Mm -hmm. And I was a great basketball player in high school. Mm -hmm. But what happened, no one gave me any track scholarships because they automatically assumed that I was coming to Tennessee State. Mm -hmm. I had more basketball scholarships than track scholarships. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so um, I guess they thought that connection with uh, Coach Temple, mm -hmm. you know, it was like they're wasting the time to mm -hmm. recruit me, mm -hmm. but they were. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so anyway, mm -hmm. um, coming here and, and meeting the other young ladies, you know, it was just like a big family. Mm -hmm. They took me in. I can remember Wilma Rudolph coming back on campus and. Mm -hmm meeting Wilma, and that just did something to me. Mm -hmm. I wanted to be a Tiger Bell. Mm -hmm. So from that point on, I wanted to be like Wilma mm -hmm. Rudolph. And um, I guess Coach Temple gave me that opportunity mm -hmm. to go on and be successful mm -hmm. in track and field. Mm -hmm. Well, how many times did you go to uh, the Olympics? Well, I made the 1976 Olympic team. In 1980, I made the team, but they mm -hmm. boycotted. Mm -hmm. And then again, I went back in 1984. Mm -hmm. Well, what was it uh, uh, in, in terms of making a decision that uh, you wanted to uh, go to the Olympics? I mean, what kind of training regime and what kind of mind thing uh, did you go through and uh, was, uh, that, 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 that you were involved in uh, in order to do something like First that? First of all, you're going to have to have a, w a will to win and a, a desire. Mm -hmm. And I think that comes from within. If those things are not in place, mm -hmm. you can easily give up on your dream. But mm -hmm. um, Knowing that I was a talented athlete and things were going really good for me, I won the Pan American Games, mm -hmm. made the um, 76 Olympic team. Mm -hmm. that, that desire mm -hmm. within me wanted to go to the next mm -hmm. level mm -hmm. of competition. Mm -hmm. So um, after the 80 team, after they boycotted, I wanted to hang around and see if I had a chance to um, mm -hmm. win a medal, mm -hmm. which I did. I won two golds and a silver. Mm -hmm. So I, winning is within. Mm -hmm. Either you have a heart to win or you mm -hmm. don't, you know. Mm -hmm. People can tell you that you're good and they mm -hmm. can see the talent there, but if you don't realize mm -hmm. that the talent is there, mm -hmm. it's nothing. It's desire. It, it, yes. it, it is all a great desire. It's that a great desire, like yes, yes. And, and of course, would you say that this is not only true in reference to personal efforts, but in reference to team efforts as well, is that would that I, be a part of it? I would say team efforts and just life. Mm -hmm. You know, in doing anything, it do, it doesn't have to be track. Mm -hmm. But if you desire to do something and mm -hmm. that and you have that love and that passion mm -hmm. for it, you can do anything. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. And and of course uh, that that would be true as you indicated, not only for a person who's involved in track, but that's uh, that, that's one of the life. Yes. great mysteries in yes. terms of yes. what makes some folks successful exactly. and what makes some folks uh, unsuccessful, even though the folks who might not be successful have as much talent in exactly. real sense. Uh, you know, I, I believe that um, some people just go after their dreams mm -hmm. more than others, and some people think about their dreams, mm -hmm. you know, and they wish they could have done their mm -hmm. dreams, but the one that really pursue them, mm -hmm. that's the one that's mm -hmm. going to uh, mm -hmm. succeed. Mm -hmm. Very good, and of course, I, I think, Coach, this is exactly uh, the kind of information that we want, uh, and uh, we're going to have our first commercial break here very, very soon, <coughs> after which we'll come back and we'll have about eight minutes that we want you to uh, sort of uh, talk about uh, uh, the other relationships in terms of the Olympics and some of the other things, uh, dealing with uh, uh, some of the uh, things that you met in your experiences that you'd like to share with us this morning. And of course, we'll be back with our audience following this short commercial break. Thank you and welcome back to the second segment of the show for today. We're talking to Ms. Chandra Cheeseboro, who is the senior uh, coach for the women's track team at Tennessee State University, uh, the Tiger Bells. And of course, uh, Coach Cheeseboro, 
Uh, let me uh, give you an opportunity to, again, talk about uh, some of the things that uh, can serve as your profile, because that's what we're trying to do, is to give the, uh, op give the audience, your, this media audience, in a real sense, an opportunity to know you better, because I think they already know you by reputation, you see, and I think that we want to try, sort of expand that. Let's uh, have you during the second uh, uh, segment to talk about uh, the Olympics and talk about some of your remembrances and some of the things that you think our audience would like to hear. Um, I think some great memories that I can remember in uh, 1976, uh, Brenda Moorhead and Kathy McMillan, mm -hmm. all of these are graduates of uh, Tennessee State, they were Tiger Bells. Um, Coach Temple was not there and one funny moment I can remember, we were excited about being in Montreal and they had a lot of activities for us. And we were still afraid of Coach Temple, and he was a thousand miles away, you know, but he had that impression on us mm -hmm. that we respected our coach, and what our coach said, we did. Mm -hmm. So one night we were out, and we were at the disco, you know, not really prepared mm -hmm. for the running, but we were out there dancing Discoing. and having a good time, <laughs> yes, exactly. Mm -hmm. But um, one of the managers called Coach Temple on the telephone, mm -hmm. and he had us on the telephone, and he was telling us, Oh, I sent you over there to do this, this, and that, and, and we were so scared over mm -hmm. the telephone. That was just so funny to mm -hmm. me because we respected him mm -hmm. that much that just a telephone call would do what mm -hmm. it needed to be done, and mm -hmm. we got back on track, mm -hmm. and we were focused, and mm -hmm. we went back, and we went, ran well mm -hmm. at the Montreal Olympics. And so he had, Coach Tipple has had a tremendous impact on all of you uh, as uh, Tiger Bells and as, uh, as human beings. As yes. a matter of fact, uh, We've had uh, several opportunities to talk to Coach Temple about the Olympic tradition at Tennessee State University. And uh, uh, it seems that uh, he was a very, very unusual kind of individual, an unusual